welcome back everybody it has been too long since i have picked this camera up so oregon decided to poo poo on my kayaking on the river idea so i decided to do it in the pool because why not you know you take the pool down because the weather sucks so i might as well kayak in it and film a video and this video is all about positivity you know when everything is crap like this the weather is crap it kind of looks cool right there but the weather's not that nice it's cold and you want to go do something figure out a way to do it so i'm kayaking in the pool today and i'm going to record myself now once again it's been too long since i picked this up it's been crazy crazy first eight months of the year i guess now nine i'm going on nine months because we're in september but it has been completely crazy busy so this is gonna be a little rambling and a little bit of story time about positivity with how this year has gone it, this has definitely been one of the funner years for me business wise that i could think of so beginning of the year 24 and let me also paraphrase but or go on to say whenever someone says oh it's gonna be my year 2024 is my year 2023 is my year and so many people some people make it happen and you know what that's awesome but a lot of people which is why i scoff say that and then you know two three weeks into the year they're back doing what they were doing in december of 2023 or whatever the previous year december 31st they were sitting on the couch eating by the second or third week of january nine times out of ten that's what they're doing so i kind of scoff at that idea but this is one of those things for me personally where i've ne and i've never said oh it's going to be my year it's going to be the best year ever it's just worked out you know and that's kind of how i'm truly taking this in stride and so at the beginning of the year i was during working for fedex still running the detail business but working for fedex and i just kept kind of feeling like i was getting dicked around getting really screwed over was not hyped about it you know i thought i was making x amount of money and then found out i wasn't so it was just kind of there was like a whole bitter taste but the whole time i was there i was like i can't wait to quit so i can go detail i can't wait to quit so i can go do this go do that blah 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 especially with the things that we were doing last year with the sprint boat racing and stuff i didn't want to have to be asking for days off i kind of like the idea of like running a business and then just being like oh i'm just gonna take three four days off here three four days off there whatever and so that's kind of what i was doing oh yeah we're floating around a day that's kind of what i was doing and uh i and it was one of those things where i was just getting really frustrated and annoyed and upset and i wasn't working with the mindset of like oh i'm here because for a job i was more so oh i'm here because i can't get my business off the ground and that was where i started kind of thinking down on it and everything and then there was a lot of people throughout that i was hearing little whispers and murmurs about how oh well he's gonna fail he needs to throw it in the bag because he's not super successful right now which anybody that's ever ran a business started a business started a channel done whatever they needed to do is you just keep digging at it you keep working at it if nobody else believes in it at least you believe in it and that's kind of all what matters and that's kind of where this is going and so I was like, I need to find a new job. I'm tired of being around here. I'm tired of getting screwed over on money. I'm tired of working six days a week when no one else does. I'm tired of being there more than other than other people are. I've you know been to FedEx off and off for 10 years. I have the experience and all that stuff. And I was getting paid like I was a new hire. So I was just kind of annoyed with it. And I was like, I need to find a job. And between um, January and like middle of February, me and Alex applied for, I kid you not, 400 plus jobs and i've only gotten one call back that whole time and then they closed the position so i was like all right this is irritating is no tomorrow and i was just kind of i kind of got discouraged and then i got a random call one day and it was like on a thursday or something and it was for a parking lot sweeping night shift like doing like walmarts and doing like malls and stuff like that like you go clean up the parking lot from all the disgusting people from throughout the day and i was like if it gets me out of fedex i'll take it it's fine and I started there, you know, the first three weeks was great. I was, I mean, it's not hard to be good at that job, um, in my opinion. Uh, and thank God that he was totally cool with just bringing me on, putting me in a truck with somebody for a few days and said, hey, you, you're not dumb, you can do it. And so for like three weeks, everything was great. And then I f had a big mistake and I fell asleep at the wheel. And that scared me to think that, you know, the kid was going to be raised without me. And I went, I was in a 35 and there was no cars. And when I woke up, there was cars in front of me at a stoplight. So it was kind of super close call, super stressful. And I was not 
feeling it at all. Like I was completely scared scared after that and I was just kind of stressing out like oh what's gonna happen I should start looking but I just started a job I don't I'm not I don't like to be that guy that quits on a job because of an incident or quits early in a job like if it, no matter what like I'll stick through it work through it you know that's just kind of how I've always been whether it was waste management FedEx you know the sweep gig whatever all those gigs I always made sure that I was able to overcome whatever it was or get past the oh well, this place sucks type mentality and yeah i just kind of thought of it positively i was like you know i'm gonna give it another chance i was just tired that night if that happens again i'll just quit and i'll be like hey sorry my bad can't do it don't want to risk losing my life for a job that quite frankly isn't a career and you know so I, that was kind of what my thought was and then i just kind of started having to deal with all the homeless and stuff like that and i just was like i really wasn't feeling that aspect of it because you know you never know what they're gonna do or anything like that so i was very nervous about all of that and i didn't want to have to deal with it and uh it just kind of like it kind of hit me because like i mean there's people that were gacked out of their minds that i was dealing with and there's people that you know there's always drug dealers out and stuff which i grew up in shitty areas so that's not a big deal but it's the people that are tweaking out and they don't know if you're a human or a dragon those are the ones that always worried me the ones on another planet were the ones that always kind of concerned me so it was just kind of like you know um what is a workplace uh incidences i guess you could say and so i was like whatever and everything was fine and all what i wanted to do is detail so while i'm working nights you know 10 hour nights or whatever it is i was coming home sleeping for two to three hours waking up to go to albany to salem to sio wherever i was going to go detail and i'm running off of three hours of sleep i finished the car somewhat and keep mind it's still winter time so i'm only doing interiors finish the car somewhat and i'm a zombie the rest of the day come home try to get a nap go to work so i was you know doing double duty working for myself working for this job trying to make it trying to uh get anything i could done to make the money that we needed to make to live and everything but you know it was just like that was, i was just working like crazy and i was i think it was got like middle of the week i got a random phone call from what i think any mobile detailer or detailer in general business owner in general for the mobile detailing aspect of it would kill for and i got a call from a car lot to come do cars for them and the only question the only two questions i asked was is it permanent and will there always be stuff or cars to detail and they said yes and yes and i said say less I'm there, Let's let me talk numbers when I get with you, and then I will tell my current boss the whole thing going on. So, went up, met with the with Carla guys. Best thing is, this Carla that I did it, what I'm doing it for, is a Carla that I was a lot of tenant at, and a uh, salesman at. So I already know everybody there. I know what they want, know what they need, know what they like, how they want it done, <clears throat> everything. 100% on board with it. So I went, talked to him, we liked everything we talked about kind of did like a handshake agreement like old school contract style like this is this is a good working relationship it was awesome and went and told my boss that the sweeper job he was totally cool with it had a weird ending like he just kind of quit talking to me and he was like oh i would hate if you didn't take this opportunity but then he was like well what the hell you just kind of up and quit so it was really weird uh transition like a week-long transition because i came in for my check and then after I got my check, my final check, he was like, oh yeah, he's not, you're not working here anymore. So it was like weird. Like I was willing to help out, but then it was kind of like a whole weird thing. But, and then when I got this car lot contract, I started working on it, just start cranking them out, you know, two fulls a day, just going to town, just working, working, working. And then I started to lose cars on my board so, or keys on my board. So I had to like kind of only do like one a day, but either way, you know, I'm detailing cars, ma building the business, making it look spicy as no tomorrow. And I couldn't be happier with it. And I've been on cloud nine since middle of April. You know, I mean, this has been such a, honestly, all the hard work is finally paying off, you know, and we're, it's just, it, it's just such an amazing feeling. Like everything I heard the last, you know, three and a half years and everything was how can I ha keep doing TNA 
and focusing on that and trying to build it when I can't even afford to put gas in my cars or anything like that. But I can still afford food for the wife and the kid and the animals and afford mortgage and afford the bills to get paid and everything. You know, it, it was just, it's been a lot of uh, running, mouths running and a bunch of shit being talked. And it was, it's just nice to finally say like, ha ah, see, I got it. Instead of being like, instead of hearing like, oh, I'm so proud that you got that. That's awesome. It was, how'd you manage that? Because nobody had faith in what we're doing. And it, I think because of how I've become lately, like just kind of, or actually for a very long time, but not really paying attention to what people say and just kind of focusing on me and what I'm doing and what I need to do and being positive about it. Hence why I'm in a kayak in a pool when the weather is about to start raining on me any minute now, most likely. It's just the power of positivity, man. Like, I can't get over that. Like, it, it's hard for me to sit there and be like, and not be super positive about certain things when everything that I feel it, that I need to do is happening. Like, granted, I would love to be making a whole lot more, love to get in the truck, all that stuff, but it's just the infancy stage of it. But this is just one of those things that I, for the last, since April, I haven't stopped smiling. You know, it's such a cool thing. Like, I mean, whenever I sit back and think like, oh, I could be working at that sweeper job. I could go back to FedEx. I could be here. I could be there. No, the detail is the gig, man, for me, at least, you know, and I get, I get to take days off whenever I want to be with my kid, to work with the animals. Now that, you know, I kind of have a grasp on how busy it is, I can get back to grabbing the camera and filming. Like, it's just, it's just been such a busy chaotic hectic year and then like we're still trying to and like we you know we got his enclosure done we're updating them we updated the tours the chickens you know there's just so many things going on like we're, we're redoing a room in the house basically for the redfoots and for the tegu to go back inside because the weather's crap and it's just like you know it's but like it's like i have this chance to be able to live life and be happy and for the first time in my life I, i'm like ecstatic and it, it's just such a cool thing and if you're positive about something you can and you know it's almost like that po positive manifestation of what you want to do and for me that's that's like the greatest thing i've accomplished and it's just such a cool feeling and i know this is kind of a rambling video but it's just, it's just so cool to be in that position of you're doing it like yeah obviously you know it's going to take a little bit longer to get to the levels that i want to get to and everything but i mean this is the best first start you could ever have and i'm just so excited and hyped and stoked on whatever happens next i mean it's just it's a really really dope feeling to finally be at that position to where everybody that was hating and running their mouths and just talking all sorts of mess is well they're eating it you know and that to me is better than anything you know if, if like that then that's kind of like the pettiness coming out of me but like the fact that i could sit here and be like yeah i told my chick to quit her job and i would make sure everything was taken care of and it's working and nobody that supports us me specifically wanted that to happen they wanted me to fail and if you ask them how all that worked out in their head or how they feel about it now they will tell you oh we always knew but we all know what the back end was and i'm sure a lot of people maybe not a lot but some people have dealt with the fake support to their face like oh if you i'm proud of you for doing something but if but when you fail you have to remember this conversation so it's like it's just kind of cool to be in a position to take care of your family, your household, your animals, yourself, get back to the point where you're comfortable doing things, you know, and being able to take care of everything. It's just so cool. It just makes you so proud. It's all because of being freaking positive, man. I can't stress that enough. So, I mean, if any, anything is taken from this video, you know, it's to welcome back after what, two months. You know, I didn't even want to take that much time off, but I mean, things happen, stuff goes on. I'm just, just be positive, man, and life works out, you know, whether it's your business or your personal, just be positive, just take that away from this, just, that's the number one goal in life, is just to be positive and have a good time and enjoy yourself, and you know what, if you want to take a leap and go do something, only person stopping you is you, be positive, enjoy yourself, live your life the way you want to live it, and quite frankly, you can't lose, so, hope everybody enjoyed this, 
like comment subscribe the whole shtick i love all the support what we've gotten whether it's just a couple comments here likes or subscribers or just the views in general i love it all i appreciate anybody who's watching and i'm not going to promise i'm going to keep picking this up as like super frequently but i'm going to try my damnedest too because i love filming and talking and it's a good ass time and remember stay positive everybody hope you all have a great time and again like comment subscribe i'll see you on the next one peace